You talk dirty to me. It's your girl, Miss Lucy Lowe, and you're about to watch my exclusive interview with Teddy Rocks from VH1's Rock Inc. We're going to find out what kind of girls does he like. How does he feel about the drama between Puma and Caesar? Does he really like Duchess? I think he wants to even meet on me, but we'll talk about that later. What do you want to happen from you being on TV? Um, I'm working on that now. Like, to be honest, like, this wasn't my dream. Like, I didn't plan on being on TV. I heard that, that you were the one that actually initiated the show. Is that true? Very true. So, you you didn't want to be on TV, but you decided that you wanted to put this into thing, play for my a show? My thing was, like, I was always into music. Right. So, Are like, the people... No, I don't rap. Okay. The people who I always looked up to in the music industry was, like, Kareem Slim. Like, the people behind the scenes that get all the money, but mm -hmm. you would never know who they was. Right. That was my thing. So when the whole reality show shit with Black Ink came about, it came through me. I brought it to them. I was supposed to be behind the scenes. Like, I wasn't supposed to be on the show. But a lot of things happened. Seeds wound up taking over the shop. I knew the producers. Right. They knew the whole story of what really happened at Black Ink. So they said, we can't leave. Set out of it. And I threw panties, and I did what I did. And we got our season two. And, do you, you know, feel like they try to do things to try to make you turn up? Um... They try that with a lot of people, but with me, like, I'm smarter than that. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know Black Ink is going to go away at some point. Mm -hmm. So, I know these reality shows, that's what you are in the real world. Yeah. So, it was like, I just want to be myself. Like, anybody that knows me on camera, or off camera, I'm the same exact person. You definitely are. And I've been involved with you for, like, a year. So You see, you see any change? No. I feel like you're the same bitch-loving Teddy. So... Yeah. <laughs> How do you feel about the um, situation with Puma and your cousin, Caesar? Um, it's a lot of ego shit going on there. Yeah. Like, I can understand Puma, I can understand Caesar, and it's just like, both of y'all gotta stop acting like bitches. Like, we all men at the end of the day, we all have our egos, but y'all gotta get past that shit. Do you like, think we like, like, we dealing with a very big issue now. We, a lot of money involved. A lot of things. Like, I gotta get over that petty shit y'all going through. Is the show what you're talking about with the money involved? Nah. Like, is, it, is, is, this, nah. is there a risk of there not being a season three because of their issues? Or... Um, I don't make... Now Puma has his own shop. Yeah, and he got his own shop. Is, like, is, do you feel like he's trying to do like a spinoff show? Like, the kids do love the Wonder Twins. <clears throat> yeah, the people love them. If... That's what Puma wants to do, then so be it. Like, you're your own man, you have your own destiny. If you want to get a spin off with the Wonder Twins, so be it. How did you feel about him opening his own shop? Do you feel like that was being at, conniving? At first, that's exactly what I thought it was. Like, yeah. I thought you was being conniving. I thought you was just thinking spin off and you wanted to do what you wanted to do. But me and Puma had a very long conversation, like, real brotherly talk for about maybe two, three hours. And I understood him. And it's like, at this point, I accept Ink 124. Shout out to Ink 124, shout out to Puma, shout out to Sassy. What do you think about Duchess? Who? Because it seems like you don't like her, like just looking at the show. Because isn't no. Caesar's your, is he your, he's your cousin? Yeah, that's my favorite. And it just, it feels like when you, it's not even when you and them two got together, you and he are not as close as before. No, we still close, but what it is is like, when somebody's in a relationship, family or not, you kind of have to fall back. And right. Like, let them be in a relationship, especially in an atmosphere where, like, we all have to be in the same place every day together. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it went from Duchess being my sister and us being cool and friends to you being my cousin's girl. Right. So everything has to change at that point in my eyes. Like, we can still be cool. You can still be that sister. But it's like certain levels I'm just not getting involved. Like, now you're in a relationship, we can't play the same, we can't talk about the same thing. Like, everything's different now. Like, y'all together, y'all involved. So, what happened when you and Caesar got into a fight? Me and Caesar got into a fight. Okay, I'll just check out so I heard you guys. <laughs> 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 Me and Caesar don't fight. Like, we made, like, when we was little kids, not even little kids, like teenagers, we had a little argument, we didn't speak for a little while. And since he took over Black Gang, we've been good. Do you Man. feel like it was a good decision from taking over Black Ink, or do you feel like it's falling apart? It's like, for the most part, like I said, I mind my business when it comes to the relationship right. shit with him and Dutchie. But once I start seeing things, y'all relationship is hurting the shop, that's when it's time for me to step up right. and say something. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I do. Like, I speak on the shop and I try and stay out of his relationship. So are you happy they broke up? Who said they broke up? 
Miss Lissa knows, allegedly, I'm going to have to drop down. So, allegedly, it's going to be a big breakup. It's coming soon. I know you're not even going to co-sign it because you want people to watch, but you heard it here first. Big blow up, fight, cops, allegedly. You don't know, you don't know. I mean... I, the last time cops was at Black Ink was when Scott beat up like four or five bitches. This season you have a lot of love connections going on. So we had India and then mm -hmm. who's the girl that you went to the restaurant with? Um, Sky. Sky. So Sky is a thug, India is a psycho, and then the, the, the Latin one is your girlfriend, allegedly. No, I don't have a girlfriend. We're going to get into that. That's a show word. Well, we're involved, but I'm letting you rock around, you know, like, hey, hey do your thing, why are you on TV with your fake relationship, but we're involved, Teddy. So, the girl that you was at the restaurant with, did you know she was going to take her back? Was that part of the show, or did y'all really go that, to the bathroom and get down? That wasn't part of the show. We might have cleared the whole bottle of Hennessy at that point. Oh. Like that's where the editing comes from. Yeah, because like, it didn't show. seem like y'all would just, just walk in. Nah, they didn't show how much. Nah, they didn't show how much Hennessy we drunk at that bar. That's why if you pay real close attention, I got sweat drops and shit. But <laughs> <laughs> like, Hennessy had us fucked up and well, she kept pressing me. Like she kept touching right. me, kept feeling on me. I'm like, should we in a restaurant? But after a while, Hennessy kicked in, Ted kicked in a little bit, and it was like. So yeah, she really dropped her drawers. Yeah, I still got it. Are you sure it hurts for last season you threw the wrong drawers at Alex? Was that fake too? I always feel like things are not real. Like I I know that it's not it's a little bit plotted, so no, that was nah, honestly, you can't plot like it. Right. You can't plot like it. Like even if they wanted to script us, it's impossible. Like you can't script the gun charge. Right. You can't script child support. Right. You can't script the DNA test. I feel like all these girls they like <coughs> But you said, what, what bitches love Teddy. Yeah. Teddy love the bitches. Teddy love the bitches and the bitches love Teddy. Are you ever going to be like cuffed down? I don't see it happening no time soon. I don't soon. see it happening either. I don't see it happening no time soon. Like, I don't think females can't handle it. Like, I'm too honest. I'm too blunt. It's like, you have to kind of be like me to right. understand me. Uh, have you ever been in a relationship? Yeah. I've been in two relationships. Nothing actually. recent, though. Nothing recent. Maybe about. Seven, eight years. Yeah. Okay. So, what about the girl that you brought to the party? The, the Spanish girl who's all on Instagram acting like she's your girlfriend. Talk about the Spanish. The little Spanish mommy. You talk dirty to me. You talk dirty to me.